condensing part. So it's really important for you guys to understand we're basically using the rules that you guys wrote down and we're just kind of working backwards. Our goal in this case, Anthony, is to rewrite this as one single logarithm. So what we're going to do is if you guys notice we have values that are being multiplied by our logarithm. So using our rules of logarithms, we can put these up as powers. Correct? Okay. So by doing that, I now have the ln of x cubed y raised to the third power plus ln of y z squared to the second power. Okay? Now, um, if you guys remember, when we have two logarithms separated by addition, um, therefore, we can rewrite this as one single logarithm separated by multiplication. So that would be technically our final answer, but can we obviously simplify this? Yeah, we can simplify this, right? Remember, when you have an expression separated by multiplication or division raised to a power, you can, you can distribute the powers. You can do that as long as they're being separated by multiplication or division, not by addition and subtraction. So I can simplify this now to look like x cubed, cubed, and y cubed times y squared times z squared. Oops. And there you go. That would be your final answer. OK. Anybody have any questions on what I did? I pretty much showed a lot of my steps and a lot of work for you. Hopefully that was beneficial.